depression rate is always calculated on the population which is having uh, six years plus population. The population of the age group of six because below six is not treated as literate. So this is calculated from this figure, not to the total figure. Six year and plus population of the uh, region. So the average in 1901 it was only 5%, 5.3. 5% to the total population of the country of this age group and in 1951 it became 18.3 it determined this is very important statistics how it increased 28.3 so 10% increase then 34.4 in 71 in 81 it was 43.5 and it is 52.2 percent statistics I cannot mark it up but we have to know the 5 percent and the 18 percent at the time of independence and 5 percent in the beginning of the century and in 2001 it was 65.3 percent and in 2011 census it was 74.04%. So this is uh, one of the statistics how the uh, literacy rate has increased though it increased uh, rapidly. But if we take the number of graduate, uh, number of metric, metric as on date it is approximately 17% metric population is there in the country to the total population. So you can say truly literate people are a few. Uh, so that is one. But if you see the main, so this is the total, this is the total literacy rate. If we take the literacy rate of male population only, so in 1901 it was 9.8% males. In this is 27.1 percent gain. But here simultaneously we may write female also. Female literacy rate. <coughs> when in, in the beginning of the century it was 9.8 for male, females were having 0.6 percent. Out of the 600, out of the 600 females, only one female was literate can say in other words. Uh, so not 660 there was one. And uh, this is uh, 27 and it was 8.8 percent and it is 40.4. Every figure is in percent. Female was literacy rate was only 15.3 percent. In 71, the same literacy rate rose to 45.9, and it became for female it was 21.9, almost half, and 56.3, and it became 29.7. And here it increased 64.1 and it increased to 39.2. 39.2. And beyond this 75.8 and it is 54.1. You can see half of the population, female population, was literate by 2001. In 50 years after independence, we became able to educate only half of the female population, not the entire. So, and in 2011, it was 82, 82.1, and female literacy rate was 64. Point, sorry, 65.4. So the total, this is the average, uh, decadal average, uh, how it has increased. We have uh, free primary education, 
we have basic uh, facilities, the rule of a country, there is the provision that any habitation or any settlement or a hamlet settlement, if it is the settlement up to the population of 500, 500 people, only 500 people, persons, they will be having primary school within 5 km. And if it is more than 500, or you can say 500, 1 to, to 1000, sorry, school will be within the radius of 2 km. And if any habitation, this is primary school. And if it is 1000 and plus population, any settlement, settlement, any village or, 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 or settlement or the village, village size, then it will be school, primary school within, will be within one kilometer radius. Within one kilometer radius. So this is the distance, but still if it is 500 in Himalayan states, because settlement is, as I told you earlier, we have the dispersed settlement, rather isolated settlement. Very difficult to find out 500 people in one locality. Maximum 50 people, then after half kilometer, another 20 people, so settlement is dispersed. So in such condition, but even after that Himalayan states like Himachal Pradesh is having the highest, one of the highest literacy rate in India. Uh, but Uttarakhand it is not like that. Neither Arunachal Pradesh, they are having very low literacy rate. But Himachal Pradesh has done tremendous progress in the uh, education system in, in the country. So this is the government, how the primary education is available free of cost with, with food, with clothes, with books and some of the schools are boarding schools giving free education all facilities are provided free of cost still students are not coming in some of the tribal school tribal areas with every attendance 10 rupees are given to every day to the children who used to come to the school in tribal just to educate them to bring them in the mainstream of the country so this is uh, uh, still uh, the literacy rate is not increasing. Here I want to share some of the state with uh, more than 80% literacy rate. Uh, where literacy rate is of, uh, total literacy rate is currently we have 74% literacy rate of the country as on date. But if I say some of the states which are having more than 80% literacy rate. What are those states? What are their geographical advantages? How they become more educated than the, more literate, not educated. How they are more literate than the other states. Highest, you may write it down like Kerala, 93.9%. Goa, Goa is 87.4%. Himachal Pradesh 83.7% just quickly you just write it down this is the comparison uh, here, uh, Himachal Pradesh 83.7 Maharashtra 82.9 Manipur 79.8 Mizoram 91.5 Probably this is the second highest literacy rate in the country, Mizoram, tribal, particularly Lusai tribe. Then Nagaland, 80.1%. Then Sikkim, quite interesting, 82.2%. Tripura, 87.7%. And Tamil Nadu, 80.3. Simultaneously, you may write Gujarat also. It is very close, 79.3. But I said 80% uh, 
and above. You may write Gujarat is almost 80% literate population. 79.3. So this is uh, uh, basically what are the geographical advantages these states have. If you go to the history of the country, basically literacy started, education started from the coastal region. It came from uh, the coastal re region like Kolkata was one of the education hub earlier. It was the trade center. It was the urban center. Little, later Mumbai, Surat, Ahmedabad, it diffused. So in the coastal states, we had the higher literacy rate. Number one, coastal states, we had, because they were accessible, they had more exposure to the world, they were accessible for trade activities, they were interacting with the people. Uh, from the different part of the world, if they are educated, then only they could communicate their language. <coughs> Apart from that, urbanization is one of the factor where literacy rate is uh, also influenced by urbanization. Urbanization means uh, the South Indian states are basically drought prone regions, most of the states. Scarcity of water, they have the seasonal supply of water. So, agriculture cannot sustain the large population for round the year. So, most of the rural population is rushing to urban areas. So, they have more number of smaller and bigger towns in South India with the spacing between two urban centers are lesser in South India. So, after every 20 kilometers, we have a one urban center of different population size. So, what happened? Because of the urbanization, literacy rate in South India is higher, on the higher side. Second is, wherever the literacy rate is high, they, all these states are having great role of missionaries. Particularly in the tribal areas, northeastern states, in the coastal states, including Kerala. Role of missionaries. Christian missionaries, Catholics. They pumped huge investment in India to educate the tribals. Purpose was to expand the Christianity. But in the name of Christianity, Indian population at large scale got educated. So, Mizoram, almost entire population is Christian. So, that's why they have the high literacy. So, they came closer to the outward. They, they became able to interact with the out, outer world. All these states, even Manipur, Nagaland. So they are the tribal reasons, but they have high literacy rate because of the missionaries. Uh, in in, in uh, Jharkhand also, in Odisha also, there is the great role of missionaries in the tribal areas. Uh, but they have not succeeded because those areas are very vast areas, large areas. Uh, so this is uh, the characteristic. These states are either the coastal states, Missionaries are there, higher urbanization is there, and the next, yes, next is they have the commercial ag uh, agriculture, agriculture of cash crops or the horticulture agriculture, so, plantation agriculture. So, whatever the nature of agriculture is not labor intensive, they don't need much labor in agriculture. So, when they don't require uh, 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 labor in the agriculture, so the literacy rate is higher. So agriculture sector is where labor intensive agriculture sector is one of the sector where most of the population instead of going to school they work, they become the working force uh, in, the, in the farmlands. Uh, so the, it is required. So this is one of the reasons for high population growth rate in the uh, region also. Now, I also wanted to share some of the states which are having lower literacy rate. Lower literacy rate, where literacy rate is less than 70%. Because, because average is 74. But if I say less than the average or less than 70% literacy rate, means less least literate state of the country, uh, will find quite interesting features. It, it is... Uh, First, I may say, you know, North Indian, Central Indian states called Bimaru states. You can write Bihar. 
Bihar literacy rate is 63.8. Then uh, him, uh, uh, Bimaru na Madhya Pradesh 70.6. Then Rajasthan 67.0. Then UP 69.7. And the Jharkhand 67.6. And Arunachal, Arunachal Pradesh because of the remoteness, inaccessible region, because of the tribal habitation, Abor, Dafla, Apatami, Mismi, uh, uh, series of uh, tribal population is living over there. So, and terrains are very rugged, forested, densely forested region, uh, moist, uh, deciduous vegetation is there. So it's inaccessible and uh, high rainfall region, human habitation is very difficult. So that's why carrying capacity of the region is less in Arunachal Pradesh. Development infrastructure network is least. So that's why they are having 66.9% and Andhra Pradesh 67%. So we have either the Bimaru states, the Bihar, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, UP, Jharkhand, or the uh, Andhra Pradesh. Now if you see the current trend of Andhra Pradesh, uh, Andhra Pradesh is uh, divided into two different geographical regions. So the fabrication of state on the basis of language, the experiment was failed. It was failed greatly. Now the uh, development becomes the criteria, resource becomes the criteria to demarcate the states and uh, literacy rate in Andhra Pradesh is very high but <coughs> Telangana, the literacy rate in Telangana is very low. I, I don't know whether you know the geographical variation in Andhra and Telangana. Uh, I will take few minutes just to share the difference between Andhra and Telangana. Suppose this is uh, uh, the one, uh, if I make this is hypothetical one state, this is the coastal region, this is Andhra. Say this is Vishakhapatnam, Vaisa, this is Kakinara, this is Machilipatnam, this is Nanor here. The, this is Vijayawada. This is, uh, uh, you can say, Delta of Godavari. This is Delta of Krishna. So, this is Godavari. Uh, both the rivers make their Delta here. So, the, the, the combined Delta, this is Krishna, this is Godavari, this is Krishna. So, this coastal region, this is one of the most fertile plain. This Andhra Pradesh is fertile, the district, you know, uh, Krishna district, uh, or, or, or first you can say Guntur district, Krishna district, East Godavari district, East, East uh, Godavari district, West Godavari district, these four districts are the most fertile, West Godavari, East Godavari, West Godavari, Krishna and Guntur. These four districts are the most fertile district of the country with sufficiently available water, plain topography, fertile soil, humic soil, moisture, uh, uh, moisture, moist soil. So th this area is one of the most fertile. So what about this? This is a plateau area, table land, forested region, tribal population, roads are not well developed. This area is drought prone region. Uh, railway network is minimum. Industrialization is minimum. Education rate is minimum. Literacy rate is very low. Death rate is very high. Infant mortality rate is very high over. But here, 
highest one of the highest per capita income of the country in the uh, of the agri agrarian society this is one of the most fertile region of the world they take three crops in a year rather four rice crops in a year nowadays so they are using high variety seeds and this is the reason with highest per capita fertilizer consumption in the country it is in andhra pradesh not in punjab now trend has changed so per capita or per hectare or per acre fertilizer consumption is highest in this region so this is drought prone this get water around the year this is forested area this is cultivated area they take extensive farming they do intensive farming they they have the tribal population they have the educated population they have very low literacy rate they have very high literacy rate they have the forest they use it they have the water they use it they have the hydroelectricity they use it they have the coal singreni colony they use it so this is the reason the table land is they have the drought crop failure is the common phenomena they know they, they don't know how, what is the crop failure so they have the crop availability of crop around it so what happened this is a highly literate reason dense network of roads there is very least network of roads if you see per 100 square kilometer area they have only 15 to 20 kilometer road here in 100 square kilometer area they have more than 200 kilometer road so this is the average so that's why these peoples ask the separate state they, they, we have the resources they are using it let the state form form we will use our own resources so that's why the formation of a new state has uh, uh, the government was forced to formulate a new state i hope it is clear to you why it is this is the plateau peninsular plateau region uh, the, that's why in the low literacy rate only telangana is in low literacy rate not the andhra so this is the one and uh, lesser literacy rate i gave you apart from uh, bimaru state only telangana and arunachal pradesh are the state where low literacy rate is there so literacy rate is uh, sometimes uh, we used to say high per capita income is linked with the literacy rate more the literacy if i ask you what is the reason of poverty in the country most of the students will say sir illiteracy is the reason but uh, it is not true all the time because mizoram is one of the highest literacy is having the highest second highest literacy rate in the country but the poverty rate is also equally high i discussed earlier only putting the investment on social infrastructure is not substantial it is in development is the one where apart from social development employment generation should be there in in kerala i told you education health they are having the best education institute entire population is educated health facilities roads electrification but they don't have industries they don't have employment so what happened they are taking education in kerala and going out they are serving the people uh, serving the outside world outside the kerala they are serving north india they are serving other part of the world if you go to singapore malaysia thailand bangkok or or, or uh, malaysia or in uh, muscat or dubai oman uh, qatar everywhere you will find majority of the people from kerala so because they have education they have proper health and everything is there but they don't have employment so that is not the balanced de development balanced development is the one where employment should also be generated simultaneously here i also wanted to share some of the states in the last one decade from 2001 to 2011 where maximum literacy rate has increased so in in in, in last uh, 10 years state with more than 10% uh, uh, should i write here state if you just i wanted to give you a list of states with more than 10% increase in literacy rate
लिटरेसी एल आई टी ई आर वाई लिटरेसी रेट फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड वन टू टू थाउजेंड इलेवन इन इन टेन ईयर्स वेयर मैक्सिमम इंक्रीज मोर देन टेन परसेंट इंक्रीज इन द लिटरेसी रेट वॉज रजिस्टर्ड here you will find it means in last 10 years these states gave emphasis to increase the literacy rate the state which have already reached on 90% of their literacy rate they will be having marginal increase 90% se 92 ho jayega 93 ho jayega 94 95 like that so their increase would be nominal zyada increase kiska hoga more increase will be in the state where literacy rate is already very low it is like same economic growth rate economic growth rate of usa is always less than 2% less than 2% 1.5 1.6 1.8 but the growth rate economic growth rate of india is always it is in the last decade it is very good for india we are having always 7 we are fighting for 8 we are trying for 9 so once we touched the two digit growth rate during almost 15 year ago our economy was uh, on very uh, steep increase so our growth rate is very high but even after high growth rate it doesn't mean we are competing with usa they have already reached on the top we are somewhere here we have to take it's a long distance we have to cover to reach over there so it is uh, uh, the like the state which registered maximum increase in last one decade in last one decade you may write some of the name it is arunachal in last 10 year it increased by 12.6% 12.6% means arunachal ka maine kitna literacy rate likhwaya tha aapko 67.3 or 2001 mein it was 53.3 so 53.3 to 66.9 so increase was 12.6 percent increase it is in this term i wanted to share in last one decade how the population increased which state registered more growth then another maximum growth was registered in bihar 16.8 the state which are on the lower strata of literacy rate then the gujarat 10% 10.1 Jammu and Kashmir 13.2 Jharkhand 14.0 Meghalaya 12.9 Nagaland NL 13.5 Odisha 10.3 Sikkim 13.3 त्रिपुरा 14.5 यूपी 13.4 एंड द नेशनल एवरेज इन लास्ट वन डिकेड इट इंक्रीज फ्रॉम 65 टू 75 65 टू 74 so it was 9.2 percent increase national average is 9.2 so here you will find some of the states which registered ma maximum increase in the literacy rate it means they are struggling to illiteracy they wanted to overcome the illiteracy so what are the problems to overcome the illiteracy in india we will discuss this only what are what are the problems this is the uh, uh, last topic of demography yes uh, wasim even after such a uh, great exercise huge investment uh, why government has achieved only 74% why not 95% what are the problems uh, for low uh, low literacy rate in india why cannot we achieve the high literacy rate can you give me two point only two point and after that mahima will give two point 
एजुकेशन क्यों नहीं है दिस इज द्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन इज वाई पीपल आर नॉट एजुकेटेड वी हैव नो लिटरेसी रेट इन द कंट्री इन कंपेरिजन टू अदर पार्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड